What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, once again, Model Car Garage Mechanics, and welcome to a totally unprofessional, totally off the cuff, lots of sound effects going on for the a house type of video. But again, this model kit is brand new and I want you to be the first ones to see it. I also have this available online, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Seems like I'm competing with the drain pipe. <laughs> anyway, check it out. Let's go down and see this thing. And if you want to get one, check us out, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Now, without further ado, let's unbox this baby. So now we have our totally unprofessional video for the Ford F100 camper pickup. So get ready for more noises and everything else that's going on. But check out this artwork. This is really cool. This is much like Alberta right now. Or actually last month more than anything. We got the snow in here. And we've got people out there hunting and whatever they're doing. As well as we've got a lot of these kind of trees here. The populars I do believe they are as well as the evergreens so again i can really relate to this artwork even though this is probably supposed to represent colorado <laughs> the cats collection classic vintage kits reimagined with all new tooling and in french model classique vintage re no, I forget. okay anyway so if we turn the uh, box up to the side i told you this was unprofessional we have the ford f100 camper pickup and there it is from the front view. This is what the the moose would see, I guess. And here you can tell that it's got a custom front grille on there as well as custom wheels. Now this is really cool because there are a lot of custom pieces in here as we see over here. There is the drag racing service truck as well. And here it says, build it one of three ways. Stock custom push truck. Detailed features, two custom front ends plus stock. Two sets of custom wheels, a supercharged Ford engine, custom camper, roof flasher, and push bumper. Now if I flip it over on this side and we just zoom in, here you can see all the parts that are in here. Now this kit also retails for $54 Canadian. I know you're going, <coughs> but here's the thing. Everything is going up in price. And we're getting into the age of where kits are going to be 50 in Canada. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm not doing something weird here. That's actually what it is. Uh, $39.99 US. And that's our exchange rate as well. 74 cents on the American dollar. That's why it's so expensive. Or seems expensive. But at any rate, at minimum wage in Canada, in Alberta, $15 an hour should take you four hours of work, which is basically half of one day to get this kit. So it's not bad. And check this out. You get 136 parts in this kit. So that's a bonus. You get the cab, you also get the undercarriage, and we'll, we'll take a look at all these parts trees and the decals. And that camper thing is really cool. So without further ado, let's just turn this around this way. It's my father-in-law's nice knife. It's actually like a hunting kind of pocket knife you would have. Now I'm going to try not to cut the side of the box. Okay, carefully. If you want this model, I've got a bunch in stock currently at Monster Hobbies. Check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca and get yours today. Oh yeah! I'm a poet and I don't even know it. So now we're going to get rid of the single-use plastic bag which is totally illegal in Canada. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. All right, let's see what's in here. So, put that lid off camera for right now. All right, so totally unprofessional video. I am going to slide the box over here, because I found in the last video, uh, <laughs> couldn't really see what was going on. So here we have white wall tires. Again, really nice. I will make a better video with a full history later, like I said before. So check that out. There's our windows and everything. So you do get camper windows in the back here, as well as the side camper windows, the front windshield and the rear glass for the cab. And there's the flasher and the red taillights, which is nice that you don't have to paint those red. Okay. Oh, this is the one with the one piece body. I thought it was the other truck. Remember a while ago I had those instructions that a customer dropped off? Now we're going to test if this thing is actually very much like those instructions. 
so far I see that it is. Very smooth in here. Very, very smooth. So if you actually owned one of these trucks, was it really that smooth in there? Let me know in the comments down below. You get the script right above that or in front of that door handle. Again, very nice. Off the back, look at it, it says Ford. Ford, it's not a Chev. Ford, those letters are really tall back there. Again, really cool stuff. Turning it over, there are some mold marks probably. And uh, you'll have to get rid of those. But overall, it looks really, really nice. Interesting, the panel has got a kick up right in here. So when the floor mounts to it, it looks like how it should actually look. Really cool. My daughter is sewing up a dress upstairs, so you might be able to hear a funny sound going on up there. That's a sewing machine right on the floor. Like I said, totally unprofessional video. <laughs> but I want this video out here so everybody can see how cool this truck may be. It's time for the ghoulies get together. They got jokes for everyone with laughter songs and fun. So let's get to the ghoulies get together. Okay, this, this is in no particular order because the video is unprofessional. So here we have these sides of the camper and there's a really cool vent in here. This would be amazing with bare metal foil in there and a little bit of black detailing in there. Really cool. On the inside, a couple of mold marks for those of you wondering. All right, on this parts tree, we have the truck bed with the inner fender wells molded in place. Here we've got the AMT cat, which is really cool. But from what I saw in a previous video from another YouTuber, who you all watch more than me, <laughs> the telephone is missing. And I was really hoping for that because it was a 1920s style telephone that's like the tube type with the receiver up on the top and the little uh, listening piece off the side and I was hoping that would be in the kit but it got eliminated. Anyway there's the dashboard and boy again you'd have that aluminum I do believe right in where the gauges are and we've got the glove box down here. Really cool stuff. I like that parts tree. Maybe I won't clip anything off that parts tree when I build the truck because I like it so much. No come on. Okay here we have the under chassis panel and uh, looks like there's some black mold release agent in mine. Hopefully it'll clear out of there and it's not actually molded in the white plastic. Oh, we've got the ladder, but one of my rungs is broken. Hopefully it won't be broken in the kit that you can get at www.monster-hobbies.ca. You know what? I, I picked up uh, some testers liquid glue so I can build these things. I ran out and that was very sad. So I've got three bottles of it. But yeah, this looks like it's the one piece mold, much like my vintage instructions are. So I'm happy to see that. There's our... Now that looks like a custom tailgate. But I could be wrong. Might be part of the camper. But I do like the detail in here. This would dry brush up really nicely and uh, look pretty good. Now for those like Pete that might want to actually chop that all up, good on you mate put in some actual suspension in that thing. Here's the camper and this little bit here is actually a platform for the hunters to stand on and shoot deer or whatever they're doing. Uh, kind of cool. There you got your steering wheel with the horn ring. Remember those? Uh -uh. There you go. And we've got two different belts and pulleys. I think one of these is for that supercharged engine. We also have the seats and somebody coming downstairs. Probably going to ask me if I'm filming. <laughs> All right, so that's always cool. We got the side rails for that roof right there. And let's turn this over. Here we've got the hood. The emblem will go right in there. We also have the interior and slots for the seat to lock in. Got some nice door handles right molded in here. Now we get into the chrome. Actually, wait a second. There's another white parts tree down here. This has got our engine in it. So let's open this up. The engine looks very similar to the uh, 1960 Ford. Actually, this whole parts tree dropped out like the 60 Ford. In fact, this is the same as the 60 Ford. 
So you've got your oops, fuel tanks in here, as well as the engine block and the radiator and the entire intake manifold, as well as the cylinder heads and the distributor and a bunch of the coils and whatever else is up there. And our fire extinguisher with a handle, a toolbox, dual batteries, one for inside and out, as well as a strap to hold in what was it the fire extinguisher into the pickup truck bed again really cool stuff you can build it twice one for each different ford and there we got the wheels and the wheel backs all sandwiched all together might have to enlarge these holes a little bit just to have them pushed down onto there okay so now we got chrome and this is really nice look at how clear that bag is Ooh. here we go Okay, we have two custom grills. This is almost like 64 Ford uh, Galaxy front end. And then here we've got something more, I don't know, what would that be? 61 Ford kind of car. And then there we've got the stock grill, chrome bumpers. This is the supercharger here, really big one. We also have the chrome wheels and whatever that is, really interesting, side mirrors the emblem, water running down the drain pipe. We have Ford hubcaps, those look really good, as well as a, looks like a little air cleaner. Then here on this chrome parts tree, ah, again, a duplicate of the AMT 1960 Ford. Got the uh, tricarbs and the valve covers, and the water is distracting my brain here. We also have those cool hubcaps and the chrome custom wheels okay so next up we have our instruction sheet and then we'll follow up with the decals so you must excuse the water running down the pipe again this is a totally unprofessional totally fast-paced unboxing video okay. trying to get this back in here Oh, and the hot water tank come on. Wow, I'm really winning here, aren't I? Okay, we've got our custom camper, and again, those instructions are really cool. So let's just zoom in. Zoom in, eh? we got our basic engine. So again, it is that tricarb Ford one from the 60. I do believe the manifolds are a bit different. Two-piece left and right goes together, then that entire assembly drops on the top here. Put on the valve covers, put on the tricarbs, doo -doo 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 -doo. there's your alternator this time, not a generator. Fan belt and the fan and the radiator hose, which you would put on at the end when you're lining it up with the actual radiator. So here on the other side, we have the supercharged engine and there's two piece air cleaner or pressure box for the supercharger. So that's what that was. And then we've got the hose going to the blower and a little mini air cleaner. Ah, this is a compressor in here, of course, for the supercharger. There's the supercharger there and that really cool belt and pulley thing. That belt and pulley almost reminds me of like my dad's tools in the old basement there where he'd have this sort of thing hooked up to the wood lathe. But again, really cool stuff there with the supercharger. Now let's take a look at panel two. I'm going to close this knife in case I stab myself. <laughs> okay, take the fear factor out of this video. Now you guys won't want to watch it anymore. All right, so there we have the chassis and again, like the 60 Ford. Actually, this is the exact same panel. So we've got the blocks going in place and either hole, you've got your choice of where you want it, lowered in the back or up. And the front axle block, might be able to flip this thing upside down to lower it. It's only got one hole in there. There's our assembled engine dropping into the chassis. We've got our wheels and tires all sandwiching together, your choice of stock or custom or with the stock wheel and the custom hubcaps. Panel three, we've got our interior. So there's the dashboard and the mirror going on, as well as the bucket and the floor shifter drops in there. We've got our steering column. Now this one doesn't have the column shift levers like the 60 Ford did, 60 Ford F100. So it does have the floor shift, the steering wheel with the little uh -uh horn ring, and our bench seat, an official Ford licensed product over there. Okay, flipping over here, 
we have the body assembly. So there's that firewall being glued in place as well as the battery, radiator, the horn, the rear glass, the front glass, and again, your option of having the rear view mirror mounted on the dashboard or up top. And then we've got the entire pickup floor going up in there and our assembled interior. It says, note, if you're using the side view mirrors, spotlights, or antennas, open the holes from inside the body. Come on, dude, open them holes. There and there. All right, now here is the camper. Now this is cool. I don't know if you could fit this on a different truck. Maybe, might have to size it up. Maybe you could put this on a Chevy truck, the 60. Anyway, so here we have says, if you're using the sun deck railing, open the holes from inside the camper roof. So there and there. So this is the railing, and then you got the ladder to get up there. So again, you could have like a little chair up there and relax. Camper skylight up here. And then there's the top front of the camper and the lower front panel. Oh, thank goodness, the hot water tank shut up. <laughs> okay, and then we got the sides and that window in there and the rear window in the back. How many of you actually had a camper top like this on something back in the day? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, getting into the back here, we have the drag team, if you don't want to build this as a stock version of a truck. Um, I guess a camper you could put on any of these. I don't know if it would work too well on the drag team though. Maybe. Maybe that's where Elvis Presley sleeps when he's gonna drag racist cars like back in the day. Um, anyway, so here we have the gas and oil cans with the bottom being glued in place, the battery, lug wrench, that torque wrench. Again, that's a cool one where you pull the handle and the little bar bends up there and it gives you the torque up top. There we've got our taillights going into the back of the tailgate and our bumper. Here you have the optional push bumper for drag racing, which we put it says, open the two holes from the back side of the front bumper in order to install the push, push board. So it actually mounts to the bumper, which is accurate. Accurate. They got the lower pan and the, the uh, grill. <laughs> I'm running out of oxygen. Two headlight lenses. They're clear, go into place. And then you've got your hood here with the little emblems, air horns, and the three-piece flasher unit, as well as the side view mirrors. You could use this if you wanted to make a police car as well by the way, an old bubble top type. And now we flip down to the custom and wouldn't George Barris be proud of this? Gene Winfield and all those guys that contributed to this stuff. The Alexander brothers. I don't know if any of those guys had a hand in this one. It's a little bit later in time. Anyway, that does not matter. Here we have the hood going in place again with the emblem and the side emblems. Now we got a two choices of grills, and there is this custom grill insert which pops into place, deleting the front bumper. So here's that 64 or, you know, Ford Galaxy style of grill front end with the two headlamps. Oh, and whenever you're gluing in these headlamps, always remember you want it to be like this. You want this pattern to be north, south, east, and west, and not off at a 45 weirdo degree angle or opposite each other, or one being correct and the other. So always make sure you got them like this. And that was a word from our sponsor, Monster Hobbies. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so here you have spotlights as an option, as well as aerials, drill holes, shove them in. Uh, there's that other type of front grill. I wish I knew what kind of car this is supposed to be emulating. I know I've seen this grill in other kits, almost like a GM, I don't know, whatever. I don't care anymore. Here's bumperettes going in place, as well as our tailgate. This is the custom tailgate, goes right over top of those big old Ford letters, smooths it out, makes it look almost like Chevy again. Like a Chevy, but don't tell that to the Ford guys. And then here we have our rear bumper being glued into place. So that, in essence, is all our instructions. Again, I really like this camper artwork out in the cold weather of Alberta. Okay, so this comes out of the way now, Mr. Trevor. And here we have our decal sheet. So, opening up my father-in-law's really cool... I, I do like this blue inlay. I just wish he cared for this more and didn't let it rust. <sighs> what a guy. 
makes you cry. And I did. There's a little teeny blade here, too. That's all you get with that knife. Okay, anyway. So. Now, if this was my dad's knife, this thing would be completely different. <laughs> anyway. My dad really took care of his tools. And I also inherited my grandpa's tools, which are house builder tools. Just saying stuff while I undo this. Okay, let's put that there and zoom in, eh? Take off, eh? All right, so check this out, my man. <laughs> Here we have, unlike the 60 where it was yellow and black, this one is white and black. These look like NHRA, oh, they're Auto Club shields. Then we have the four genuine parts decals. This is cool. Car Care Products. Winds Car Care Products. So if you want to build a Winds type of pickup truck, you got that decal. Then we have the AMT Speed and Custom Drag Team. What is that car? It's called um, the Piranha. You could link this thing up with that trailer from the 60 Ford, paint this truck yellow, and get the Piranha and put the Piranha on the back. That would be really cool. Here we have the Dragmaster's official push truck decal, if you don't want the speed shop. Trail, trails End in Michigan. So that's another, uh, you know, sponsor, whatever you want on the side. Business, local business. Street Sleeper, so that's for putting in the custom engine in there. There's Ford lettering to go in those big letters. A done working decal, as well as this looks like NHRA right there. Uh, here's gauges option. I don't know what that's about. National record holding team. You got script there. You've got Ford's lettering as well. United. Oh, that's the U. Okay, I'm going to just... Because this is unprofessional. What are these license plates? Michigan and Michigan. So you got two Michigan plates from 63. Let me just put that back there. Which is really unique for AMT. You got WW1761 and a TR3159. So you could actually use these for whatever you're towing so that both cars are from Michigan and registered. So that is actually kind of smart that it, this isn't like Nebraska or something. And you got like two things that are not, and especially in the same year, or you could use these on another one of your cars and just have everything in 1963 if you're doing a diorama. And that's sort of what I plan to do. Um, I want to make a museum. And I'm going to have it all like model cars. And I want them to all be from one spot in each of the dioramas. So kudos to AMT for doing that. Maybe I'll look into uh, Michigan, was it? <laughs> I can't read it. It's too tiny. Anyway, there's the decals. And now let's wrap this video up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this totally unprofessional, down and dirty type of unboxing video. And one day I will make a brand new video. Oh, there's the hot water tank going. <laughs> totally unprofessional. I will make a professional video where I actually open this up, get into the kit history and some other cool things, much like I did on the 1926 Citroen video. Real top quality there. No water pipes going off and hot water tanks and eventually the furnace, I guess. But at any rate, yeah. So if you want one of these great models, I've got some in stock right now at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Click on these little links popping up or whatever to be able to go and get one and uh, have fun on your build. And we will see you in the next video. And that video will be more professional.